Hi everyone, I am Ramesh KS. Welcome to the class. Today our topic is Dynamic SQL. Today our topic is Dynamic SQL. Okay, Dynamic SQL. So in this Dynamic SQL, so what do you mean by Dynamic SQL? So why it is required? So everything we will discuss in this session. So, so dynamic SQL it is a uh, it is a programming technique it is a programming technique it is a programming technique uh, that enables that enables enables you to build enables you to build SQL statements SQL statements dynamically dynamically at runtime so in in such such cases uh, we are using dynamic SQL so Oracle Oracle includes two ways Oracle includes includes two ways to implement to implement dynamic SQL dynamic SQL dynamic SQL so the first one is the first one is I'm taking the first one native native dynamic SQL native dynamic SQL the second option is calling calling procedure in the DBMS SQL package calling procedure in the DBMS SQL package so these are the two ways we can implement dynamic SQL so before moving into these two ways let us understand what is the difficulty we are facing and what is the problem we are facing what is the solution for that problem with the dynamic SQL okay so let us move on let us move on I am taking here CMD SQL plus SQL plus so I'm taking HR as a username, password I'm entering. Yes, I'm clearing the screen. I'm taking TD1.SQL. So in this TD1.SQL, what I'm going to do is I will write one PLSQL block. A normal PLSQL block I will write. So in this I will write create statement here. Create a table TD1 assume td1 the table name is td1 so eno eno i'm taking number data type uh, e name data type where care two of uh, three let us take three i'm closing this one now i will end with the end statement so i'm closing this file okay so now I'm going to run this PLSQL block. I'm going to run this file. Okay. So what happens? Will it throw error or not? Yes, it will throw an error. See, you can observe here. See, you can observe here. So what type of error it is throwing? So encounter the symbol create when expecting out of the following. That means this is what? Create statement. Create statement create statement is uh, which statement ddl statement ddl statement ddl statement so ddl statement can we write in the plsql block no so in plsql block the ddl statement uh, create cannot be used so how can use ddl statement in the plsql block so with the help of dynamic sql so with the help of dynamic sql concept we can use plsql we can use uh, create statement, DDS statements in the PLSQL block. So 
so this is the importance of ddl uh, execute immediate statement as a dynamic sql so let us let us include let us include uh, execute immediate uh, in the plsql block execute immediate immediate uh, before that i used to place uh, single course in between create table okay now close this one close this one td1 so let us check whether this table is created or not so let's start from td1 so td1 there is no table okay now whenever if i issue this uh, at the rate of td1.sql that means if i execute this file what happens the table will be created see check again i am checking whether the table is created yes table is created you can check with the des command as well td1 so the table is created so what did you understand from this what did you understand from this see you can see this option in this file so with the help of execute immediate with the help of execute immediate with the help of execute immediate we can use dds statements in the plsql block with the help of execute immediate statement we can use we can use dynamic sql as execute immediate statement we can create the table so that is the importance of uh, this execute immediate okay thank you one and all